Farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another very special Haiti video. In this video, we're going to be exploring the brand new summer or the June 2023 update for Haiti that is officially out. If you haven't updated your game, then make sure you do because there's a lot of cool things that have been added in this update, which I'm going to be showing you guys all in this video, as you can see in this picture. Now, before I get into the game, let's just see what's new. Okay, so a new update is live in Haiti. Check out the excellent new content that's just been added for our 11th birthday celebration. So we have some new features. Um, 11th birthday event starts on June 13th. That is tomorrow. Then we have some quality of life features, which I've already shown you guys. Um, we have new events. There's a new production building omelet station, colorful omelet, spring omelet, and cheese omelet. Then we have some asparagus products. Uh, there's a new product in the waffle maker, which is the Breakfast waffle, we have new birds, the herons, the capped heron and tricolor herons. Then we have the new sanctuary animals and more UI improvements and bug fixes. So that's a really big update. Let's just get right into the game and start exploring everything in more detail. I'm really excited. Let's go. And here we go into the game. This is the first look of my farm after the June 2023 update for Haiti. So this is the unedited version of my new farm and oh my god everything looks a little different okay so the first thing that i see i don't know is probably that i can zoom out like more and everything just appears really small like i don't know what's been changed so starting from the left hand side we have our xp bar um you know the xp star as usual once i tap on it it shows me my level so nothing's really been changed here uh, but basically this little envelope which shows the inbox its location has been changed. Previously used to be just close to these uh, three bars. Now it's actually at the bottom, which I do like because I think it gives like more space and it's like in a sequence. So let's see what news are we having in the game today. I'm sure it's going to be all about the update because update is everywhere. So yeah, here is the um, summer 2023 update. If you want to read in more detail, of course, um, you can check everything from here. I think we've already uh, read that. So this is my neighborhood chat. And wow, they haven't chatted in so long. Now, the first look that I saw was obviously at the very top right corner. You guys can see the plus icons have been removed. As I talked about, we have our coins and our diamonds at the bottom. And I think their font size has been decreased. They're like very small. I'm not sure if it's actually a good change or like it's a bad change because it really depends on the person who's playing the game. You know, there are people who are like having eyesight issues, so... I'm not sure how that's going to work for everybody, but we have that little gift icon, which is actually close to both the coins and diamonds. So let's tap on it and see what it brings. Here we go. Okay. Oh my God. Everything looks so freaking different. Oh my God. It looks so different. Um, there's like obviously a lot of space and each of these offer tab is like very distinct which is kind of cool, but I'm not sure if I like it as of now. And of course, you can have a look at your coins and diamonds at the very bottom. So we're going to claim my free reward. And of course, I'm not going to purchase a farm pass. There are some weekly deals that I'm having over here. That's for real money. And then I have expansion permits for the diamonds. Um, I'm having some more special. That's actually a lot of special offers. Why are they here? Are they especially here for the update? And of course, we have our peacock cake and those um, hug statue decos. And then I have hired Tom for free. And this is how your diamonds and coins are going to look like. So as I mentioned in my sneak peek videos that now the coins and diamonds are not two different tabs. Rather, they are just in one tab. And I think I do like it. It looks more organized kind of a feature. So yeah, I'm not hating it. And creator boost. Let's see if we have any um, changes with it. So, for example, if I mention Phoebe over here, and I'm just going to enter, oops, sorry, I wasn't going to. Okay, so I think here's a little chain, if you can see the content creator C at the very right at the top. And it has a little check mark, which is like green in color. So once you've put any creator's code in there, it's going to be green in color, which I think is a little detailed. And now you know if you're actually supporting a creator or not, because what used to happen before, people would like purchase something and they would not, like unintentionally, they would not be supporting any creator. So I think it's a good change, but I hope that now it can stay permanent because I don't really want to keep changing the creators that I support. That's actually all about the diamonds and coins. And now I didn't realize, but actually the animation is a little different. It's like it shows the coins and diamonds, not the plus icons. They've been removed. And here we can have a look at our vouchers as usual. So 
I'm just going to send these visitors away. I don't think there's anything special with them. Let's open the package and see what it brings. Wow, what? Um, I can't believe I never claimed it. Uh, that's kind of confusing. So here comes a Mr. Alfred for my package with the brand new update. So, yeah, basically I'm going to do a little practical gameplay and I'm going to show you guys all the new things. So let's do my honeycombs. And I just want to see all the changes with this update. Um, now, I also heard some people talking that there are, like, font changes in this update, which I'm not sure how they are, but let's see. Um, hey, the team said that they were going to change the check mark of the trucks, and I think it's been changed. It does look a little small. Okay, so I'm just going to open the package, and let's see. Hi, thank you for updating to the latest version. Alrighty, just um, got my 10 diamonds, which is really cool. Okay, so uh, this is my farm. It looks pretty much the same as before. We obviously did not get any land. Now, first of all, let me just go to Greg's farm and see if they really updated Greg's farm. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh my goodness me, you guys. Look at this. They actually heard us. They heard us. They removed the blue color from the friend's book. The book looks way normal. Like, it's just really cool. It looks better than before because I did not like when it was so blue. I don't love this change. I'm so happy for this. Wait, hold on. What? My Rotai shop has been changed too? Like, seriously? <laughs> this is extremely exciting. Like, I just, I have no words, you guys. I'm literally speechless right now. Like, honestly, seriously? Because this is like the layout when you're playing on an iPad. Or like on a tablet but, but since i play on my phone previously my shop used to be comprising just of those i didn't used to have two rows it was basically just one single row and now it's two rows i wonder what happened to the people who play on ipads is it like three rows for them now because wow i'm actually really impressed by this this is so cool this is so freaking cool wow what an unexpected change now i think it's gonna be a lot faster for me so this year is really the quality of five features. Okay, so I wanted to actually um, have a look at Greg's farm to see if Haiti brought new stuff there, which I doubt. But I'm just gonna see if I can still find something. So I don't think they really updated his farm now. They're probably gonna do it later. So yeah, they haven't. And I'm sure that there's nothing in his town. I just wanna see if he actually have the baby meerkats. No, that's a brown meerkat. Mm, not sure if he does have them right now. Um, the sanctuary is like way too crowded. So like I can't even see anything, but we're just gonna come to my farm and I'm gonna show you guys the new machine that I'm gonna purchase. Okay, so you have to go into your uh, production buildings section over here. Now, the key thing to remember here is that um, the omelet station, the new machine that's been added, it's actually a low-level machine. So you don't have to go to the very end to find it because I saw a lot of people getting confused. They could not find the new machine. So if you've already unlocked all the new machines, so if you've already unlocked all the machines in the game, then the omelet station is going to be in the middle. It's not going to be at the very bottom. It's actually close to the tea stand and the farming pot. So it's going to cost um, 600,000 coins. If you want to know more detail about this machine, of course, you can check out my previous uh, sneak peek videos. But I'm just going to purchase it, and of course, you can have a look at its animation. The lid of the wall actually kind of jumps. I think that shows like it's something is being cooked inside. So there we go. I just spent a lot of my coins. Uh, this was the omelet station. It's going to take three days and seven hours. Of course, I am not going to spend diamonds. I never spend diamonds on speeding up the production. I think I'm just going to simply wait. And of course, uh, let me just go to the barn and show you guys all the new products. First of all, we can just have a look at the animation. So here are the products that have been added. We have three omelets, the color omelet, cheese omelet, and we've got the spring omelet. And there are some other products as well, like we've got the breakfast waffles, um, asparagus quiche, asparagus grilled, and asparagus soup. So that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new products in this update, which is really cool. Let's talk about the new crop, you guys. So the new crop that's been added is the asparagus. You can have a look at its animation. There you go. It's going to take... Wow, that's a really long time, you guys. It's like six hours. That's more than onions. Excuse me. Let's spend eight diamonds, and I'm going to show you guys the animation of how it looks when it's grown. 
interesting. I do like the little purple hint at the top of the crop. So we're just going to harvest it. And it gives you 8 XP. That's actually really nice. And I'm sure that this crop is going to be expensive. Yeah, 1 for 40, and I think 10 is probably going to be for like 430 or something. But of course, I'm going to plant more because I'm going to need it to make more product. So, yeah. And uh, let's talk about the new product. I mean, I already showed you guys the animation, but since we've got the breakfast waffle over here, you can have a look at the animation. Oh, wait, there's actually a little change over here. I'm not sure if you guys are noticing this, but look at the size of the text that shows how many ingredients you have, like bacon, egg. It looks so big, to be honest. But of course, I can't make it right now. And where's my soup kitchen? We've got a delicious new soup. It's right here. That's a three asparagus and two cream. Way too expensive. Way too expensive. I cannot afford to make it. No, you guys gotta help me on that. Um, well, let's talk about this one over here. That's also like one cheese. So yeah, that's all about the new machine and the new products. And of course, uh, the new crop, the very basic stuff. And now with this update, you guys, we have also got some new birds, which I'm going to show you guys right now. So, you know, we got the pelicans last time, and now we have two herons, capped herons and the tricolored heron. Four golden and nine chick vouchers for the cap one, and for the tricolor one, it's um eight purple and nine chick vouchers. And you can have a look at this animation. I wonder if they're going to give us, like, more birdhouses, because the birdhouse is going to be, like, really crammed. I'm not sure if I can buy. Nope, I unfortunately cannot purchase any pet right now. Uh, let's go to the town and have a look at the baby meerkats that we've got. So I'm just going to show you guys the baby meerkats. So where are they? There we go. We have a red meerkat pup and the brown meerkat pup. And it's certainly going to take me ages because I still have not even unlocked a single one of the meerkats. I just want to see if there are like any changes in the town, although I doubt there are, but... Mm, yeah, nothing really big for the town, but I really hope that they can introduce more town buildings in the future update. That would be extremely, extremely cool. Now, if you go into the settings and you go to the advanced settings, I just want to see if there are, like, more stuff over here. Uh, I don't want to delete my account. No way. That's just not good. So turn this off if you don't want that annoying farm pop-up, but if you want it, then you can select it. That was, like, one of the new changes. And of course, we've got a search feature, so let's talk about that. So I'm in my barn, and I want to see how many, let's just say, um, I don't know, I don't know, um, chocolates do I have? So I'm probably going to search for, like, chocolate. Yay, there we go. It's going to bring all the chocolate products. This is kind of cool. I do like this concept, although I'm not really satisfied with it. Although I'm not really enthusiastic about it, and probably I'm not going to use it too, especially with the barn. I'm not going to do it, but it's... Actually cool for the people who always get confused on the product. So all you have to do is to tap on that little search icon at the left hand side and then search for anything. I know it's been requested in the community for a long time, so I'm happy that it's back. Not for the sake of me, but for the sake of the community. And of course, um, the same in your silo. We can search for how many peaches do I have? <laughs> 45, that's kind of cool. And I do like the way that we can search for like stuff here, like Let's say I want to sell eggs. Yeah. There you go. That's simple as that. You can do, like, anything with the search feature. I love the search feature in the roadside shop. And, of course, uh, the same you can do with your requests over here. You can search for anything. Um, now, to be very honest, I still think it's a little extra because I never felt the need of it. But I'm not hating it. I am not hating it. Whatever I mention or say in my videos is strictly based on my experience and it's not a fact, it's an opinion, so please keep that in mind. And I'm not hating on this new update. I love the new updates in the game. So that's about the search features. And uh, let's see if they've introduced the sound that I was like kind of confused about. I just want to know that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, as you can see, when you purchase a tree or a bush, it does make that sound. That's a little nice detail there. And I think that's actually it for this update. Have I missed something? They, of course, um, fix a lot of bugs, so I'm assuming that the gameplay experience should be normal for you. If you have any issues, please let me know in the comments. But I hope that you're enjoying this update. This just came in the game today, um, so you're going to have to wait if you don't want to spend diamonds, especially on the new machine, and of course, um, to get the crop. And then you have to make a lot of the products. 
and this was Haney's 11th birthday special update. That means in the game tomorrow, we're going to have a lot of cool events, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. And there's going to be a lot of cool decos, so I cannot wait for those events. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm kind of confused because this was a big update, so... In case if I've missed anything, please uh, let me know in the comments, but I hope that I've showed everything practically in the game. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, let me know your thoughts and suggestions on this update in the comments. Uh, did you like this update better than the March update, or do you think this is the best update ever?